So I just wanted to um, give a quick kind of overview of a, a patch that I used um, this last year um, working on a piece for solo piano. Um, and so, so this work for, um, for piano began as a series of improvisations um, at, at the keyboard and it was just, you know, quickly sketched out um, kind of little piece by piece um, on staff paper. And I was working with um, my composition teacher for the semester and we were discussing um, discussing the best way to capture um, the rhythm of the piece as I as I was playing it. Um, in the in the score that I was working on, um, the the handwritten score, I didn't have bar lines. Um, you know, I, I had beamed some things together, but it wasn't really a, a precise rhythmic figure. Um, it was just kind of more like general guidelines about where pitch material was uh, was coming in the piece and 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 so on. So he actually suggested um, that I that I. Uh, Basically, you know, improvise um, the from from the score into um, Logic with my MIDI keyboard and just um, collect the the MIDI information about timing um, and use that as a starting point. So once I had um, you know played from this kind of rough sketch score into Logic a couple of times, gotten a, a take that I was really pleased with. Um, I saved that MIDI data and um, brought it into Open Music here using this, um, this MIDI object. And so you can see um, that uh, was translated into this chord sequence. And um, this, uh, yeah, this is just a representation of, of um, basically what I was playing into Logic. Um, so I, I had all the pitch material, had the, the timing that I liked. And then I uh, was able to use this object here, OM Quantify. And this is a way of quantizing um, rhythmic material, um, much like you might find in Logic, for example, or uh, your favorite digital audio workstation of choice. Um, but this is a, a really powerful object because it allows you to very precisely specify um, the, the sorts of uh, you know, quantizing parameters, um, even on, on a measure by measure basis. Um, so for example, you know, I could set uh, the, the tempo. I picked, um, no, I guess I picked 72. Well, let's see. I don't remember if I picked 72 um, beats per minute or 60 to line it up with, with like, uh, you know, your basic kind of clock ticking off. Um, but you can you can adjust all sorts of settings um, with OM Quantify, and for for me the most useful was actually this large um, this large object here. This is a text file object, um, which is really useful for uh, entering a lot of data into a patch, or um, or getting data out of a patch and into a text file just on your desktop. Um, and so what this, um, what this data lets me do is basically force the OM quantify object um, measure by measure. Each one of these lines represents a different um, measure. And it lets me force um, specific tuplet subdivisions um, within each measure. So for example, um, I, I asked Open Music to use only quintuplets and triplets. Um, and and uh, you know eighth and sixteenth note subdivisions in this measure, um, and I was able to go through, basically as a way of of trying to simplify um, from this notation uh, into into something a little bit more reasonable. So um, once I had gone through that process, worked through um, basically bar by bar, looking at the subdivisions I wanted to use. I was able to export and um, and then go through and and you know print out the score, identify some more kind of problematic rhythms that I wanted to simplify a little bit, um, and then basically just clean it up in Finale, um, and it ended up with 
uh, with this score, which actually came out really, uh, really nicely. It, it ended up with, um, with many sorts of, uh, of, of rhythmic patterns that I just would not have naturally um, written. Um, you know, like stuff like this, which, you know, maybe is still slightly impractical. Um, I found myself even when, when coaching um, on this piece, just, uh, you know, encouraging the pianist to kind of simplify and treat that as a, as a quasi improvisatory sort of, um, sort of passage. So I, I certainly had to navigate this boundary between really um, specific rhythmic notation and, and trying to capture the original improvisatory spirit of the piece. Um, but again, it was a, a really helpful and actually surprisingly efficient way of capturing some um, pretty kind of sophisticated nuances of timing um, from my own performance. So that that's uh, basically it. Again, this isn't um, this isn't a tutorial video so much as uh, just a demonstration of some of the types of things that you can do with open music um, as part of your uh, compositional workflow. Um, so again, I hope this was useful. Um, let me know if you have comments or questions or are looking for more resources. Um, I, you know, I want to stress again that I'm uh, still really new to open music myself. And um, you know, there are certainly folks out there who are much, much more qualified than I am. But I figured um, while I'm still exploring and you know, still asking a lot of questions about uh, how to use the software and where to find resources, that this would be a good time to kind of document that for other folks like me. So thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you join, uh, join us for another video in the future and uh, hope you enjoy working with open music.